Yeah, about that heat thing, you yeah, know. Not here. Does it ever not snow up there? Yes. Okay, cool. It gets up to a hundred and like low one hundreds here during summer. But then it snows for six months. Now are you saying that in Fahrenheit? Okay. hundred uh, 100, 100 Celsius, Celsius is like 600 Fahrenheit. That would be the end of Canada. Yeah, well, just I just want to make sure that he's talking in freedom units. I, I just like to imagine, though, Canada has pure snow for six months out of the year, and then for the other six months, it's just a thousand degree weather bearing down upon the world. We've had a lot of forest fires, so that was a thing. Oof. Not as bad as, like, uh, California, but... See, Ginger's, Ginger's very right. The Florida breeze is just to bring you hot, humid air. For the record, yeah, no, Prophet already got there. Never mind. <laughs> people, people, people made that correction before I could get back. <laughs> it's definitely 212. Okay, so it's not as hot as I. It's not as hot as my sensationalist part wants it to be. It's still gonna set air on fire. Feel his happy face. Yeah. <laughs> I just like how we're talking about freedom units, but I regularly use millimeters. Hey, it's more, it's easier to say than, you know, one sixteenth of an inch. The only millimeter I need in the US of A is nine millimeter. (laughs) (laughs) How? How? Out of all the people to be saying that, I feel like after buying a gun today, you shouldn't be mocking that. Oh, it's not mockery. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's Colin. That's just what happens when you purchase firearms. <laughs> you start sounding like that. Just, it's just a slow transition. It ain't that slow either. <laughs> After like three guns, you start buying all American boxers. Nine millimeter is the worst millimeter. <laughs> Laughs and clock 19. <laughs> uh Honestly, I, as much as I like 45, I prefer a nine. I know, I know you, you can take my man card if you like, but ugh. I'm more of a 44 kind of guy. Also, we don't allow handguns here anyways, so unless you got a restricted what? firearms license. Yeah, you're not allowed handguns in Canada. You can have rifles. Uh, handguns are considered restricted firearms. You need a specific license. And even then, you can only bring them to a gun range and back from a gun range. <laughs> <laughs> However, we do have a plethora of rifles in a gun case downstairs. Our gun range is uh, like a huge thing over there. Um, not so much. People aren't aren't, aren't as bull or trigger that, happy. That's, that's what I'm. Right. That's what that's I'm right. imagining. Yeah, Canadians are just not nearly as trigger happy as Americans yeah. are. Okay. I mean, okay. I, I think I have like four within driving distance of. There still are rednecks that are super trigger happy up here. There's just it's less like there's, of them. Yeah, it's not like there's nobody that doesn't like guns. Just yeah. There's there's enough to the same extent. There's just less of the populace. I think I think a big thing is that since gun uh, laws are so strict, you don't feel like you need a gun up here. So like your your everyday casual family will have rifles for hunting, but they won't just carry a, a handgun under their bed because they're scared someone's gonna rob their house. Unless they rob you with a knife, it would be hilarious. God, a five seven. Uh, I, I don't know. I can't get behind that caliber only because only FN makes anything for it. It's it's really an uncomfortable pistol. Yeah, we were just waiting on you.
Is Love that to. Not a, wait, is that just not a phrase? I mean, are you taking volunteers? Is driving distance not, like, a normal phrase? Is that a Florida thing? It is absolutely a normal phrase. They're yeah, they Okay, because I'm like, what the... It, within driving distance is... <laughs> what? Give me just a second. I've got to record something. Most Florida things just aren't real. Yeah, they don't exist. <laughs> I would love to go ahead and get one for home protection. I, I don't exist any. God help whoever goes ahead and kicks in the front door. Me and Will are just simulations. use it again. I am offense. I am defense. And here is a fence. Oh, if they were looking for a subject to go ahead and test full memers, they definitely need red. I've chillaxed on that, honestly. I'm just a shit poster at best. 10 cans and four barrels. Christ. That is a fun afternoon. See, bee fences are the best kind of fences. Those are the ones that keep all the bees out. So I'm okay with bee fences. Oh, come on now. Most cans only hold, like, 420. Uh. Man, that's wild. Total. You, you said both profit. I think I'm gonna have to go out after stream and get a soda or something. I am not hungry, but I am nowhere near meeting my mark on calories. I've actually been trying to do a lot better about it, and uh, after this yogurt that I'm about to have, I'm j I literally just broke a thousand calories consumed today. Yeah, but you've also been asleep for half the day. Yeah, well, I'm not gonna. The were, thing is, I'm like, I'm not gonna eat again. The first half of the day. I've only slept two hours. <laughs> yeah. But I hadn't eaten since like five forty yesterday. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right, back into the mix. Let's pop off here. Let's see how this is gonna go. Back into the boys. All right, lads. The floor's yours. I like that new graphic, by the way. That was nice. That, that is a the, uh, cool. That is a cool ass transition screen. Thank you, thank you. It's all Kirk. Oh, how is Kirk doing anyway? Um, I found out today that um, while a little, it might be a little much. Um, Kirk's wife uh, broke her mucus plug. Ah, so he's about to be a daddy. Yeah. So very soon, Sweet. Kirk is going to be a dad. Yeah, usually we can just say that her water broke. I don't technically know if that's what that counts as. I'm not sure. I've never heard someone say broke their mucus plug before. Yeah, neither, neither I. I. I don't. I, I, don't I know literally what the fuck that is. I heard it today. Yeah. So it was, that like it was new baffled for me. me. And Sniper just rolled with it. I'm like, I guess I'm just not fucking proficient enough in this knowledge area. Yeah, me neither. Yeah. Never delivered a baby, and I <laughs> haven't paid enough attention. <laughs> Sadly, cool. I'm just lacking in knowledge here, so I can take your word for it. Yeah, let's not and say we did and just get back to gaming. Because <laughs> I'm waiting for you guys to actually bust me out. 
<laughs> That's funny. You ain't getting out of jail. <laughs> or you might. I don't know. I'm not your boss. Depends on what Ronald does if he eats the rich. Yeah, me, I've already went ahead and like crawled over the entire list of uh, somatic-only spells that I have available, and it's like, nah. I figured that might be the case. Yeah. Somatic-only spells are not the best. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, there's actually <laughs> some really good ones there. Like, I never figured that Dimension Door is verbal only. Is it? Yeah, you don't have to go ahead and do... <laughs> no. It's they just, just like, like draw a door with their finger. It's just like, Actually, open, yeah. bitch. Boom. No, oh, that's awesome. So, Ronald. We ended with you getting an ultimatum. Yep. You said 18 hours. By shackle or blade, cauldron will be changed. Eat the rich. What do you do? What does this look like going forward? Uh, well, I was still pretty injured, so I was using that. I was using whatever remaining time we had at that point to to rest up. And if that time is lapsed, then I will go from there. Likely just your meditation. You're not going to be wholly formed, right? Like it's not going to be amazing. This is going to be your own trial here. Something for you to speak. So. Let's go with the Trial of Grasses. Alright, sir. The sticky sitch you're in. You're an injured, mostly dead guy. With godlike powers. You had the ability to manipulate the divine and bend it to your will. Your ally, who is arguably the most powerful sorcerer you've ever met in the world, mind you, has expressed, well, you've got 18 hours to do something, or I'm going against your better wishes, and I'm breaking Jacob out, because he, he doesn't deserve to die. You spend your hour in meditation, or at least mostly an hour, and then you blew X amount of your charges to heal yourself. You had just started forming parts of your body back. Correct. The gauntlet, <clears throat> the arm itself is trying to mend. The jaw has managed to reform musculature around a lower jaw bone. A tongue, a stump is starting to form. But nothing quite as full as where you need it to be to properly communicate. Uh, I'll use my last two charges of positive energy. Okay. What are your intentions here? To make it so that you can speak clearly? To just generally heal as much of the uh, damage to the gauntlet and uh, the jaw. And the jaw. So if you focus on the gauntlet, you may risk not being able to speak and convincing the nobles to do anything with anything less than words, is going to represent a hilarious challenge. But I'm for it. So do you focus on the gauntlet? <laughs> or do you focus on giving you the ability to speak clearly? I guess it would be to speak then. Probably. You're not without, right? You are capable of, of still doing things physically. You just don't have the same kind of power that you need in this situation. 38. What does this look like for your face? Uh, so... Um... As he begins to channel the, uh... The last few, uh, charges of his, uh, channel energy... Um, you'll see the, uh, like the divine ley lines in the gauntlet start to glow. Um, this time a little more stabilized, you see the, the arm which the, uh, which was essentially, uh, exploded from the inside. Um, begin to tighten a little bit, so it more or less grabs its form, but there's still, um, the fissures on the inside that, uh, that surround the gauntlet. But, um, as it, as the divine energy starts to flow, uh, upward, it uh, begins to formulate the uh, rest of the face and then uh, completes the jawline and, of course, the beard and stuff uh, 
comes back into effect. So for the most part, um, I would say this part of the eye, the entire socket is still missing, but the the mouth and everything else is complete, completely formed and the gauntlet, while it uh, has its luster back, the actual um, image of it is still in shatters and then um, everything up until Jimothy's face is, is damaged. So it's like right here and going below. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna interject because that's I can see that mostly happening. Your beard is starting to come back into full effect, but you haven't quite gained the entire amount of your lower lip. It's pretty much the skin is starting to pull back and grow up to the face. But as it's reattaching itself, it's managed to disguise the muscle. And now what you see is the lip, the, ma the mustache starting to reform. The beard starting to come up and begin to almost become full again. But the lower lip hasn't quite formed yet. So it's gums, your dwarven teeth, and then upper lip. It looks... Well, it doesn't look quite as bad as it had previously. But to someone who isn't prepared, you will certainly look battle-scarred. Um... With that, I will set up my uh, new formulated statue of my own image of what I would be as Helm. Okay. Uh, let's see what I can do. Uh, Ulheim uh, will then uh, look up, place his hand over the scrying bowl. Okay. And then he'll, as he starts waving his hand, Grant me sight of the mayor. Show me where he hides. And he'll cast scrying. Okay. Your scrying can be difficult, particularly with this, this method. This mirror was incredibly expensive. It's something that you have maintained up to this point. But you will note that every time that you've used it, you've had something, a tool, a focus. You haven't had... You haven't had anything like this. Do you have anything of the mayor's? Of the mayor's, no, but I know I, I'm i familiar with him. I know what he looks like. Okay. All right, so you have a, a good idea. So you, you focus on this thought in mind. And as you begin to channel and think of this thought, you see a figure, a man with golden hair. Drawn over shoulder, wearing mixed-colored robes. He seems to be sitting at a desk. Likely his own. You see him. Um, trying to take the image imagery around uh, from him. Um, is there like a window behind him to kind of give me a reference point as to where the building that he's at? Potentially. How long will you watch? I'm curious. Uh, I have one minute per level, so a hundred. You can watch for a while. Oh, I'm okay. sorry, it's 11, 11 minutes. Sorry, I was going to say. No, so you can you can watch yeah. for a while. Um, yeah. So you do. You continue to watch. People will frequently knock. You see his eyes move up to the door, and then he'll nod. A figure will enter into the room, and he'll stand. But he never quite moves from his desk. Something you will notice, though, is that someone does enter the room, and his expressions change. One from grace to a bit more strain. There is glower in his stare. Someone that he despises is before him. But you can't ever quite see who that is. You continue watching him. Inevitably, the figure will leave. He leaves this place. But the glower never quite leaves the mayor. Is it like disgust or like a mix of like fear and like someone he would despise? It moves ambivalously. It's between all of those. Fear, okay, so disgust, distrust. Give me a perception.
34. Okay. Sure. Sure. The mayor moves. He moves from his place. His podium, his pedestal. His place of comfort, command. And he moves to a fireplace. You see, almost looking like the camera turns, and it's no longer looking at it from a third-person angle as much as it is looking directly at him. His arm is up over the hearth, over the top of it. And he's watching. He's looking at the fire intently. And he changes for a second. Something in his vision seems to twist. You can't quite shake it. And you caught something. The fire flicks and whips around his person. But a shadow does not emit a human figure. Tendrils seem to whip out and around him briefly. And as you focus, his eyes shift from the glower. And he begins looking around to the left and to the right. Before finally, his eyes meet with yours. Give me a will save. This can't end bad. 37. Very good. A shakable compulsion is delivered under the scrying pool. The water, which was naturally clear, darkens. Peering into the pool, it changes. It is no longer delivering the image of a man. It's no longer in his office. It's no longer in a home. This is very different. An eye forms in the haziness of the pool. A large and unblinking eye. The color of the iris seems to almost shift and sway like the Aurora Borealis. The pigmentation is bemusing yet befuddling at the same time. You hear a voice. You can look away now. But I'll always have an eye on you. Your scrying pool begins to shake. The bowl begins to visibly move. I'll cancel the spell before it uh, causes any damage to the mirror of the bowl. And the moment that you cancel the spell, your mirror cracks. The frame is fine. Yeah. But the glass itself, the mirror is broken. Mm, I don't have make hole prepared just yet. I'll leave it for now. And as the spell ends, uh, assuming that he can somehow still see or hear me, I'll look down at the water and say, don't get too comfortable in your seat. Helm comes for you. And that eye you have will be blinded by my righteousness. Prepare yourself. And then, as he turns away, he'll just utter under his breath, I will be the Dawnbringer, for a new day has dawned in Cauldron, and the shadows will be burned away. And you'll see his glow. You'll see the uh, the gauntlet start to glow uh, with that shiny uh, golden hue around it before uh, he walks out. Through its fractures, bits of light seem to emit, almost like there is a fire inside. I would say this would also be the. Uh, you would also see the sim a similar um, effect happening in Olheim's eyes, where the act instead of the light being just like a, a bead, it starts to uh, flicker outside of the uh, eye socket. 
and Olheim will begin his walk to the mayor's office. Okay. No worries. No worries at all. All right. You've been down in the basement for a while. Been doing whatever it is that Olheim does in the basement. At this point, it's become uh, its own thing. It's, it's Olheim's uh, safe spot. Yeah. He, he goes down there late at night. Definitely. I want to know what's happening now with Court and with Klaus. From my remembrance, we were plotting out our plan to ransack. Not ransack, to free Sniper. Okay. Well, let's hear it. No, you had it right the first time. It's ransack. <laughs> <laughs> Kill as many people as we got, can. The breakout's <laughs> actually a diversion to just steal everything in the guardhouse. <laughs> everything. Especially all of Jared's stuff. Except his bag of doorknobs. He can keep that. Yeah, we don't want to touch those. Um, in reality... That, you know, that's uh, all I would give you. If you decided to ransack the guardhouse, every bag that you would <laughs> touch does. would just be doorknobs. <laughs> we go to Jared's office, yes. and it's the one day that he had to move him out of storage, and it's just bags of doorknobs yeah. as far as the eye can see. Yep. Look, man, before I launch flaming bodies into Crater Lake, this time it's just going to be bags of doorknobs. I'll build a fucking trebuchet. <laughs> you watch. That's when you finally make Jared quit like Sun did. He's just like, fuck it, I'm done. I'm fucking... They fucking threw my doorknobs! I'm out of here! I imagine he has way worse things to worry about than his personal sex toys being lobbed into the lake. No, I feel like, like... When the, the one pleasure straw. you have in life yeah, that's, that's is the thrown that into a lake again. that houses an, <laughs> an elder the, the, dragon. <laughs> the elder squid Cthulhu dragon. You kind of, uh... Decide, you know, maybe it's time to fucking leave. Maybe it's time to get the fuck out of Dodge. <laughs> yeah. I just want to paint a picture here for those of the people that are watching. It's a straw that broke the bottom's back. The bottom. Mm -hmm. I like it. I, I have proof. Look, we all know it. It's just... Nobody said it yet. The picture here that I want to paint is that there are four, no, nay, five miscreants. One of I which love is. That you just threw a nay in there. <laughs> one of which, bear in mind, is working for a god as a champion, an evil deity, almost regarded as evil deity. One of which is the son of a devil. Another of which is believed to be among the first five elemental sparks born. And one believes he is a god. He thinks he, he has he literally has a god complex. And the other is a very unassuming child that happens to be just above par in in by by any physical means. They live unassuming trying to do their things in this city, but they think an elder dragon lives in the lake, and this is okay. Different they think strokes, man. that a demon general is trying to take over the town, and this is okay. And they want to lob a man's sex toys into the lake. <laughs> like, sometimes you need to relieve some stress and put a good old prank on the guard captain. Know what I'm saying? Weekend at Bernie style. Yeah. Well, I mean, prank. all things considered, it is possible that with Jared, it could involve some poison damage. <laughs> Gonna give fucking Ambarda spooky dick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Yeah, the last thing you want to do is give an ancient Draco Lich an STD. Spoopy dick! Oh god, no! He'll have all new kinds of ways of haunting people moving forward. He just drags his dick through the streets. Oh no! Yeah. Hi guys, welcome to Shackled City. This is, this is a question I have for you. Okay. When we saw Ambarda in yeah. his in his tentacle, tentacle form flying overhead, um, was there just like a giant penis in the mix of tentacles? <laughs> his shortest tentacle is his is penis. This, is this a legitimate question? Are we Absolutely. Are bad dragon yet? <laughs> I would assume it's normally concealed in a sheath, but you know, coming out of a lake and flying over a town, I would assume making everyone shit their pants that saw him, <laughs> that might do it for the Doom Dragon. Maybe, maybe that's, that's his thing. <laughs> you know what? 
Maybe he's like <laughs> Trog Dick. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Let's just, leave, the countryside. let's just leave it at this, okay? This is Pathfinder. It's a tabletop game. It's all narrative-based, and it's everyone's story. If you saw his dick, then, dude, you saw it, okay? You can describe it any which no. way you so please. One can of his I get tentacles it tattooed is... on my body? You don't have enough acreage, my guy. I it's gonna be like, do. It's going to be like 164th scale. Damn straight. Inseminating the countryside, yes. Yes. Oh, I'm, I'm still convinced he's just got one tentacle shorter than the rest. Like <laughs> just by like an inch, and that's the only one. Yeah, can't, can't tell. They're actually all just tentacles. It's fine. No dicks here. <laughs> no, can't. I'm not saying anything. I'm not doing a call of this. I am behaving. I am now a fucking adult. <laughs> Ronald just can't be bothered at all. He he's <laughs> yeah. Ronald's just it. like Ronald's just like man. World of Warcraft. He's thinking of his next mic drop moment. He's already he's already fucking planned the entire nobles in his head already. It's already he's, fucking on. He's writing the script, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're just buying time for him and Bub. I'm just pissed that he stole my line. <laughs> like Will did. Line. You got a real I complex about people stealing bringer. shit from you. It's Motherfucker. true. <laughs> you didn't want the title. It got you a blade in the side. <laughs> it's still my title. Let him take it. <laughs> Just like it was gonna be my realm. But... Uh huh. Uh huh. Look, at least you fulfilled the prof the prophecy. The prophecy. <laughs> I don't know why my brain just stopped there. You fulfilled the prophecy. The prophecy of, of bringing down heaven into hell. You were able to accomplish that. That was you. We're proud yeah. of you for that kind of. Not really. <laughs> the, the prophecy has been spoken. <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn it! <laughs> Again, guys, if you see something that makes you laugh, smile, or just you think it's deliverably a chuckle to another one of your friends, clip that shit. Okay. Holy shit! I'm working on proper quality rewards just for you if you do it. The prophecies of Delphi. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. It has been spoken. Okay. <sighs> One last question. Yes. What is the airspeed of an unladen swallow? <laughs> okay, I'm done now. <laughs> I want to hit you with a book. <laughs> what was it? Let me ask Hey, look, you know those books we Please have in the bathhouse that come to life book. again? No, it's, it's African or European. <laughs> it's the correct answer to that question. <laughs> oh, wait. It was 24 miles per hour, 11 meters per second for the European swallow. Yeah. It was. <laughs> what's, what's that? I feel like if Hatless is in this call in this moment, he'd be like, you swallow at 11, 11 miles a second? <laughs> damn. damn. God damn. <laughs> Whoa, boy. <laughs> Hold up, did I mishear that? Is there going to be a party later? <laughs> you say that, but he'd have his mouth too full of butter to say anything. <laughs> you know? Yeah. God love you, Alice. You're good people. <sighs> so, the mission is clear. You're going over there. You're going to do the mission. You want to break out Jacob. You said you were you're planning on it. Oh my god. That's the goal. Mm -hmm. Tell me how. Nonviolently. Mm, magic man. <laughs> magic. Alright. Magically a blurred on All right. Trial. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. This time. So because I haven't really given either of you an opportunity to do much role playing recently, I want to pass the floor to you entirely <clears throat> I'll pick some fitting music okay I, I hope it's uh... it's gotta be Benny Hill unfortunately that's, that's, I can't that's find what Benny I was Hill. thinking about I was like but we're not moving that fast Benny Hill implies that we're doing this at a at an at least decent pace I need some some solid polka please <laughs> <laughs> 
I need the uh, the Jeopardy music. If okay. I mean, I could put it back I, on. Ivan Poker. I, I could put it back on uh, on Charlie's music. If, if that's, <laughs> that's good. That's, <laughs> a good. that's a good choice. It's inspiring. I'll give you that much. Hold it on, is. I gotta turn my sound up for it. Benny Hill, but at half speed. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> One of these days, I'm gonna invent the fucking the the piece of software that will allow me to bypass screens and throat chop someone. Just slap chop. It's called we next slicing. Slap chop. We all knew what was happening in our heads, but Will was like, "That extra mile." Here we go. You gotta provide the visual, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't stop thinking of how I listen to the shit that he says now. <laughs> Last night he was talking about someone being so loud it was legible. What? <laughs> the fuck? Yeah. Sticks with ya. Sticks with ya. So, Court. Klaus. Frog and boy. It's for you. Uh, Court would start by trying to at least draw up a map of what he remembers from the guardhouse um, to give us at least a baseline of what we're doing. Um, I would have to find pen, a, a pen and paper, or I, I guess it's not a pen. Well, they have oil pens and ink pens. Right? They have quill. Yeah. Pens, some, some of those things are available, yeah, but it's also not incredibly common. More common to have quill and ink file. Uh, court will will scurry about looking for some, but eventually come back with some. I'm assuming. I, I mean, that's stuff is also kind of expensive. It's more likely that as an adventurer you would use something like chalk, especially if you have um, stone at your disposal. You have an enormous bathhouse. That's true. Um, but do we have chalk? I don't. Uh, whatever. And if you're okay with giving me that narrative sure. and saying that we have chalk, it's your. It's, this is your part of the tale. You, you tell me. Do you have, do you have quill and, and ink, or do you have uh, uh, chalk? I, what what we'll, is it? We'll say that I have chalk, and I'm just drawing it on the floor at this point. Sure. All right. Um, I'd try to sketch out the the raw interior of like the front desk, and at least leading up into Jacob's office. Um, and then I would probably mark where the guards that. I saw were active at the very least. Because I remember you said that there were two at the door, right? Yes. The the ones who were shit-talking uh, Helm about the tax. Well, not Helm, but Olheim in particular. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, he would mark the seen, receptionist. You've often seen yeah. guards at the doors, yes. Um, any, anywhere that he would have seen the guards posted up is where he would probably line it up. Okay. Um... I I don't really know how much more I can draw, but this at least gives us the start. I believe this will be helpful. Um, <clears throat> regardless, though, I, I don't plan on spending much time in the jail itself. I believe we shouldn't have any problems going in. I mean, after all, they won't know we're there to break someone out. <clears throat> and then once, how we we get gonna... some, once we get some alone time, I believe I have a spell that will... Uh, sort of make our entry in non-issue. Do you think they would leave us alone with them? I think they would have no option. I feel like they might send Kiana with us, if anything. Isn't she really dead set on keeping him there? I'm sure she is, but there are distractions we can make. Mm -hmm. What are we going to do about Thelsa? Are we bringing her with us? Or is it just going to be me and you? Olham said he won't come. I wouldn't count on Thelsa being there. Um, frankly, I, I don't know what she'll be doing, but for the moment, we'll just consider it as if it's just the two of us. Court's gonna sit there and think for a moment. 
Can I try on your mask? I... Or, or, actually, has that been made clear that that's a mask? I don't think it has, actually, thinking about that. Because I think you've pretty much worn it since you got it. Yeah, but I, I think I explained why I was yeah. griply looking instead of a drider. That's that's what I'm remembering, but I, I, I want to make yeah, sure I think that's the case. On... Yeah. Um, I don't see any reason why not. Do you have a particular reason to want to try it on? I'm going to say as I'm removing the mask. Oh boy. I want to see what it'll do. Maybe it'll turn me into a frog. <laughs> well, um... I suppose, yeah, and I'll hand it over. Uh, do, I, do I roll for this? Is that... Yeah, I've got to see what it is, though. Go ahead. i got to see what the number is. I think it was a also, D100. just just so this doesn't seem completely out of the ordinary, this whole reasoning is just... Uh, out of character, I recognize why you're, tr why you're wanting to try this on. Well, in no, character. no. In, well, the in the in character part is very much. You kind of need that break from the seriousness for someone, like. We're not going to get anywhere staring at this map, right? And especially if we already know that it's going in. So at the very mo at the very least, we're going to be going in here. And if shit hits the fan, shit hits the fan. This is his only chance to see what this does. <laughs> He's still a kid. He's like, what is this? Curiosity getting the best of him. Sure, go ahead and roll a d100. Okay. Uh, but on the outside, I also really fucking want to see it. I've wanted to see it since you got it, because I want to see everyone in it. I hope this is what I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be amazed if just another Gripply appeared in front of me. <laughs> I don't remember what the hell I rolled. Look, but... I am a frog. All right. Oh, shit. Um, you uh, you do begin to change. You do become small. You lose a significant amount of your hair as well, but you do retain some on the top of your head. Your eyes aren't nearly as bulbous. You don't have what looks to be a very frog-like form. It's something slightly different. Your skin turns olive. You lose sight of your nose. It becomes very flat-faced. Klaus, to you, his ears distend away from his head and become these large, almost gremlin-like ears. However, he has a tail. He has a tail that seems to move of its own volition. His smile is wide. Though he seems mildly confused. Give me a knowledge. What knowledges do you have, actually? Uh, Arcana and Planes. Just give me a wisdom check. Okay. See if you might have might recollect this creature at any point, because you haven't come across them. You have no Ooh. idea. I'm gonna you ever, you ever I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> God damn it. You know, it's, uh, you think it's a goblin, but you're not sure. <laughs> and that is one fucked up looking goblin. Yeah. He moves more akin to, like, a mixture of, uh, of a simian and a, and at the same time, like, um, uh, what, what is the, the Jesus lizard called? The ones that can, like, uh, run across the, the water? Raptor? Frilled lizard. No. The fr yeah, the frill frill lizard, yeah. yes. It moves sort of like a simian and, and a frilled lizard. Uh, the feet look more like uh, almost monkey-like hands. They seem to split, almost digit-like. Um, but you're not familiar. When you look down and you see your feet, though it is booted, you see that it's split. Not quite in half, but in a way that makes it look more like, um, like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toes. Do you remove your boot? Hmm. Probably. Okay, all right. Yeah. When you remove your boot, your feet look like hands. Large hands, actually. 
I would immediately take off the other boot seeing that. Same. <laughs> After various looking, uh, like, looking at the legs, looking at the arm, looking at the, like, looking all over, looking back to Klaus, looking back over the body, looking back to Klaus. What am I? How if I know? <laughs> Ugly. <laughs> I'll, I'll post a picture. It's gonna go right into the uh, Twitch chat. There you go. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! There's a monkey goblin. That is terrifying. He is a thing. I I don't know what you are, but I feel this urge to kick you. <laughs> Why? Really hard. Do, do I? I look. I have. Hands you should take me. that off now. I have a tail. He's gonna just kind of like... As he's <laughs> bewildered by himself, I'm going to start removing the mask. Or at least where I think the mask is. Sure. Because <laughs> frankly, I'm not entirely certain. <laughs> I'll start groping in the darkness for the mask. <laughs> groping the I'm air groping over the top of him. Now I'm just picturing like the suction cup it makes when you pull the mask off the mask. <laughs> pull his head and then it snaps back. Yeah. That's what I'm picturing. In that same instance of the pop I just Court. I've got I've got to know. Um He says, take it off. And then he reaches forward and begins fondling your crotch. <laughs> because you just became a small sized creature to him. He's uh Court's gonna immediately stop in place, looking at his tail. Uh, and he's just gonna. Oh God! <laughs> uh, you peel off the mask, and and the whole and veil is stand, <laughs> holding the family jewels. <laughs> uh, and then Thalsa walks around the corner. <laughs> You probably shouldn't wear that anymore. He's going to slowly lower the mask into his hand. Y yeah, that's that's fine. It's at this. Yeah, it's at this point that Court's like, are you sure we're not the baddies? <laughs> this feels right. Because I didn't give anybody permission for this. Because <laughs> maybe bad isn't that bad at all. <laughs> yeah. This is class response. I'm not bad. I'm just drawn that way. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 just gonna, oh. gonna don that mask again. And... <laughs> Turn my froggy face to the ground and cover my eyes. <laughs> oh man, that's the most action court has ever had ever. Well done. In real life, or I definitely felt a twitch. <laughs> oh, oh. I feel a disturbance in the force. It's like, why is your tongue moving? Stop it! <laughs> you think you think it might have you know, sparked a little something in him? Mask comes off. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> no. not awaken anything in me. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! No, he would not have to reroll. Uh, it's, it is, it's unique to the person. It, correct. It's it's character bound. Oh my god! It doesn't ever shift. Once it decides and takes form, it is always that way. Well, oh. Court, we now have an unbreakable bond. <laughs> I, I hope you choose to respect this as I shall. <laughs> Compared to this, a jailbreak is easy. He's... <laughs> Relationships are hard. <laughs> like your dick. <laughs> Lord. Oh, God. Oh, boy. This is really turning into Shackled City now. Oh, God. <laughs> what, uh, when does Kalort happen? <laughs> Close. We don't need to give. I can break these cuffs. <laughs> 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 oh, you can't break those cuffs. No. 
Jesus Christ. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <the sound> of- <laughs> God damn it. Man. Ah! Well, like, see where you got the name of the show from. Uh, I mean, it's technically from a well more established and far more professionally put together series of individuals that actually have created Shackle I City. Call, I call bullshit on that. Uh, but I can imagine that they had their own shenanigans. After a key maker named Keegan Gelves, I also disagree. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. You good? Are you good, Austin? No, you're not he'll, good. He'll, he'll never be good. All right. See, that, this is... that laughing fit gave me a headache, and I didn't just need these off. <laughs> oh. I don't blame you, buddy. That's better. The blood's, get, the blood's I, flowing I black today. Back to that. Yeah, you don't want to know where it flowed. We don't, actually. Head. We don't. <laughs> so you have an idea. You have a, a basic design down of, of how you're going to remove him. Are you going to hold true and give him 18 hours? I mean... Court, court would hold true to that. I'm nothing if not a man of my word. Court, you also abide by the laws, but you're going to break someone out of prison. I, hmm. he, I know. I. It's hard. Uh, oh, you. Also, his moral compass is just like spinning. Yeah, which is it also is. why so he's going. not gonna... He's not just gonna be with uh, Klaus. He wanted to go with Ronald to at least try to do something with the nobles. Because he's still wants a way out of this without anyone getting hurt potentially however if it comes down to it he knows that if it's just klaus going there there's going to be a lot of dead guards on the floor maybe probably maybe Maybe more metal snakes maybe more you know palm trees in the guardhouse some sometimes yeah so if if he can go in there because his whole thing is breaking defensive armor and attacking with non-lethal damage that's what he wants to do but okay. he wants to find a way out of this before it gets to that sure sounds good okay then that is such you intend to wait your goal is to wait for at least 18 hours that's what i'm guessing correct my my goal is to handle or to go out with Ronald when he leaves, okay. but also to wait the eighteen hours entirely. You have before about, switching to Klaus. You have about that long before his trial. Yeah. Uh. Whew. Yeah. Give or take an hour. Yeah. You have about that long for his trial. Okay. I'm going to give them an opportunity to do their thing. I'm going to touch base with Sniper. Jacob, you have been sitting now, eating occasionally, plotting, planning, dealing with whomever passes by, goads you, or challenges you in any way. What does this kind of look like? Are you just kind of stewing right now? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, when I'm not stewing, I'm just kind of sitting on the edge of my cot, still cuffed to the door and, you know, resting my head back on the wall, tapping a toe in the air, measuring off time, and just imagining all the different ways I'm going to rip that redhead's head off. Like, I'm going to put both knees on her shoulders, get my fingers under her jaw, and just kind of slow pull till I start hearing things pop and tendons pinch off. And Lord. Okay. Revenge is a word that I, I feel like you would utilize here. Do you feel like it's it's necessary? Is, is vengeance something you seek? I wouldn't call it vengeance. I, I'd call it... it... Certainly wouldn't call it stress relief. A readjustment of perceptions. Oh, okay. All right. You know, she perceived me to go ahead and be an easily taken fool she's going to perceive otherwise by the time I'm done. Well, maybe she did. Maybe she didn't. We'll see. That is yet to be decided. Remember, and you probably haven't forgotten, this could also be a trial. A very different kind of trial. Not one where you are to be judged and slain, but one where you are to be deemed worthy of being a part of something greater than yourself. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Slaying Could the messenger, be. not I wouldn't say is, is going to get you. And it's not going to get you a grade A pass in. But mm. what do I know? I could be wrong. Well, I mean, he'd also probably be thinking about those keys in the other cell. Yeah. And he'd also be thinking about what he has on hand. I mean, it's not like he's got a spoon or anything. Sure. And, well, you know, it is cauldron, so they do double duty as, you know, the boons. <laughs> do you try to do... A do you try to do anything? Anything else? Uh, there is absolutely no metal implements in the gel cell. There are no... Nothing available to you. in the wall. Nope. The closest thing that you have is... Um, actually, yeah, there are nails. There are nails in your bench. Well, Jacob could go fishing. You could? Mm -hmm. is, is that something that you would try? Once the immediacy of the heat, you know, of hatred fell off, yeah, he'd probably look at the keys and try and figure out a way to get out. Okay. Because why not? Uh, let's see. Now, as far as... You know, as far as getting the nails out themselves, I would imagine it's not too difficult to go ahead and dig them out with his nails. Probably. Do you actually have, like, claw weapons? Are you capable of, of slashing and dealing damage? Uh, claws as a weapon? No. Okay. He just has, you know... Normal dead. nails. He's just like, ow! All right. So he has normal nails, then. Uh, if you actually had claw weapons, then it's a far, a far, far more refined, and you would be able to likely just kind of yeah, pluck I it out. Yeah, I decided to go ahead and take the tail instead. I figured, I figured. Um, but you can still do that. Like, the prison is not—it's not so bad, right? Like, it's—it's it's not like you're looking at a, a security supermax. Yeah, it's not like concrete benches and whatnot. So, right? No, he'd probably uh, either take the stool or the cot, well, whichever one has nails in it, and try and farm the nails out. Okay. All Most right. likely by, you know, whittling them against the joints and so forth. Sure. You managed to loosen a few. Some of them are bent, crooked, and they're a dark and somewhat unrefined metal, mostly. Giving That's out over better. time. You managed yeah, to get, we'll say... Two of them. Two of them that aren't in terrible shape. Well, I mean, if they're in terrible shape, that's even better, because he's planning to go ahead and hook them over. He'd like at least three. Okay, sure. And we'll give you yeah. we'll give you a chance here. Let's uh let's say in your favor seventy five percent chance that you get three. Give me a seventy five percent range. One to seventy five. Okay. Watch it. Roll a hundred. Just watch it. Fourteen. Good. Yeah, you managed to get all three. Sweet. Uh, yeah, and bending them over the round of his thumb, he's going to hook them over and set the uh, wide ends together. Okay. Uh, from there, he's going to... He was given a blanket. Yes. Time to go ahead and get some line. You begin tearing thread from the blanket, then. Mm-hmm. All right. Sure, that's yeah, reasonable. And, and figuring that it's, you know, lowest bitter blankets, he's probably going to double the thread over into twine. That's a safe bet. It's going to take a little bit of time. When do you intend on doing this? What is your best approximate guess of the best time to start fishing for something that you can barely see, nearly 20 feet away? Oh, well, let's see. Given the fact that during daylight, the guards are probably doing a regular rotation, I would imagine that during the evening is when there's wider gaps between patrols. Likely, yes. 
Yeah, I mean, it's not like he can't see in the dark. So, yeah, I think he'd probably go ahead and do it late evening after after dinner. Okay. You know. Sure. Because, you know, if we're going to go ahead and do this, it's best to be done on a full stomach of gruel. Okay. You manage to wait until after bowls are collected. Any kind of plateware that you've been given, any kind of bowl or makeshift container that has been passed your way, you will wait until you've eaten and you have given everything back. There is a brief moment in that time, a window that is naturally larger than otherwise not being there, that you know that you, you could fish. You could reach out. You have three lines attached to most likely twine burlap. Nothing fancy. And you're certainly not fishing for anything alive. Nope, just fishing for a key. This is unrealistic. You probably guess that it's also very unrealistic as well, but it's not without favor. And I like to leave things up to the dice. Given yeah, the circumstances, I mean... you've placed three nails, you've managed to twine up some burlap. I will say reasonably reasonably I think you naturally have a 15% success. But I want to see what your skill is like on this. I want to see how tightly you've managed to wind this together. And give me a dex check. If this oh, is all right. loosey-goosey, then it's it's going to keep it very small. But if you manage to take your time with it and do well, it could increase your chances. Straight up dex check? Yes. All right. You got a reroll. Yeah, I think I'll take the reroll. Okay. That's better. I set the DC at 14. That's an even or an odd. It's always odd. It's always odd until it's not. It's always odd until it's four. Yeah, it's always four. It's it's odd. Very good. Very good. You actually you will increase your chance of success. I'll give you ten percent more. Shift, All right. Shifting you from fifteen to a twenty five percent chance success rate. Oh, right. still not because looking I'm twisting these nails up into a, you know, caltrops type setup where the hooks kind of bend over and it's always going to have at least two sides pointing down. Anything better for that? Sure, I'll grant you five more percent. Hey, that makes it a 30% sweep. I can take that. Okay. And... Now remember, you you did just use your luck reroll here. Yeah. I'm not gonna... I, like, there's nothing I can do. It just comes down to the die rolls at this point. Yeah. We'll say that we'll give you this percent chance of success based on a 10-minute window. Okay? Sure. Call your range. Uh, 30%. Let's go... 35 to... No, 35 to 65? 3564. No, 3564. Are you sure? Don't make me second guess this. I'm definitely going to. Just roll them bones. Tell me go. I'm bad. 30, no! 31. 31. It gets so close. So close. You manage to, to lob it out. You catch the end of the key. But you don't quite hook the key. You change its position. But by the time you finally get it close enough... You hear the guard making his rounds again. Shit. Do you, do you leave the twine across the hall? Hell no, I wind it in. <laughs> okay. All right, you do. You uh, you manage to wind it all the way back in. <clears throat> you play the part, none the wiser, just minding your own business. Yeah, you know, just continuing to nod my time. head to it, you know. 
you know, not my head to an inner tune. Sure. Tapping my toe to the music. Just waiting until I don't hear those footsteps anymore. I'd almost love to hear the song inside of Jacob's head. But that's okay. You're not on Twitch things right now. You don't have to worry about it. Oh, thank Christ. Something I was not anticipating seeing or hearing tonight. <laughs> so. You know that your window is pretty much shot. You're not going to have much else. Nothing that is at least going to grant you much more of an opportunity. You could wing it a few more times, but the chances of you being seen increase. It does make an audible plink. The sound of the nails being bounced off stone. Do you want to chance it? Oh, I came so close that last time. I gotta. Okay, all right. When do you throw? Um, as far as do you wait for the guard to pass by? Do you wait? For, well, like what? What is what is your motivational spot? When do you throw? Uh, let's see. I would go ahead and. Being as this isn't my first time in jail, this particular jail, I would imagine I have an idea as to how long the corridors are. Yeah. How long the guard takes on his run. A few days at this point. Yeah. You've been here at least two or three days. Yeah. Safe to say. I'll wait until the guard steps are. Mm, I want to say after the guard is like 50 steps away. 40, okay. 50 steps away. All right. I'm going to give him perception. Please roll shit. Please roll shit. He's not going to hear it. You managed to lob it out. Now you're doing this with hastened motion. You're not going to give yourself an opportunity to kind of line this up and let it sway a few times. You're pretty much just walking up and, you know, just winging it out and hopes. So I'm going to decrease your chances. 30%, we're going to drop you down to 20% range. 20%? Oh, damn. Uh, 40 to 60. Ah! <laughs> it's, it's like a tease, man. Christ <laughs> almighty. Damn it! Close again. So close. And that's the situation, every time you're just like, so close, but you can hear him coming back now. You know that humans have a hard time seeing in the dark. There's not much firelight in here. Everyone's supposed to be going to sleep. I'll leave the line. I'll leave the line. You leave it? I'll leave the line across and just kind of, uh... Because I don't want to go ahead and try and whip it back. Okay. In a hurry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because if I tangle it in, you know, the bars, then I'm just kind of SOL. Okay. I'm going to give him a new perception. This time is a sight-based. It's going to be dark. He's going to be carrying a torch, but he's not likely going to be looking down. It's going to be hard for me to succeed on this. It's going to be very hard. Okay. No. He doesn't see it. Alright, now I'm assuming that once he's passed by and out, since I do have sight to the outside door, I might have maybe another ten minute window. Likely. Oh... I'm, I'm going to give it one last shot. Okay. Third time's the charm. All right. I'm still going to put you at 20%. Uh, 40 to 60. All right, chat. Here's your chance to go ahead and... Don't put that bad juju on chat. <laughs> <laughs> well, my juju is bad enough. You're praying to the same people who gave us the giant iron snake. 
fuck, really, Zach? Seventy to ninety? That's that's kind of that's kind of proud there. What do you think? You know, I hear so, dice are random, and it's still twenty percent, regardless of whatever numbers they pick. Yeah. Uh Yeah, twenty's twenty. All right. Uh, let's go fifty to seventy. All right. I said yeah, if I don't get this Draconix, I won't blame you at all. <laughs> it is <laughs> from fifty. If I end up getting a seventy-one, I'm gonna be pissed. From fifty up. So it's 50 to 69. Hey. Hey. No. God! You've been cucked against <laughs> nice. <laughs> Within three! Within three! If it was like, oh, just way off, I'd be like, ah, oh, fuck, okay. You should've, you should've no, this is, this is Lady Luck being like, ha ha, here you go. Look, be a lady tonight. It knows. <laughs> That's perfect. And of course, none of these are coming close enough to like adjust it into a new position or anything like that. <sighs> After that it's last like... toss across, dragging your your hooks back, the door opens before that ten minute window. The guard looks in with torch. Takes a few steps in. And he peeks into your cage. He peers into your cell. What are you doing? <laughs> it's late at night. So, we all know it's night. So wait, night. wait, wait. <laughs> Am I sitting there with the, with this cord in hand and like this hook halfway across the hall? He's seen me. It's pretty obvious he's seen me. Uh, he heard you. He heard it land and you start pulling it back. He opened the door. You heard the door open, probably on a halfway return. All right, so it's halfway across the hall, but he hasn't seen the caltrips yet. Hasn't so seen it. He heard something though. Christy's right, no more trial. He's gone now. <laughs> uh, now, hearing the door open, he's going to be like, oh, fuck. Sit back down, rest back, and uh, when the guard comes around, he's just going to kind of jangle the cuff against the door. Musical accompaniment. Okay. I'm just going to poignantly say that you did not state that you pulled it back. Nope. Uh, um, because if I try and whip it again, it's... that's going to be pretty fucking obvious. That's going to be a rather large mo motion, large movement. It's going to be like a rat darting across the floor. But Keep your hands he... up here, buddy. Don't look at the package. Yeah, but he, <laughs> if, he, no, if it's across the hall... All right. All right, friendo. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy. The guard kind of peers into your cage. You see the, the 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 firelight in his face. He looks on. That's when you raise the shackle. It's musical accompaniment. And you can't really see much. There's no light inside of your cell. So he takes a step forward, and you hear the sound of metal tersely scratching across stone. Fucker stepped on it. He stops looking directly at you. Oh. He begins looking down. Takes a step off of whatever he's managed to place his foot upon. You see him begin to lean down. Slowly, mind you. Do you do anything? Bring your hands down over him and fucking book it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. How close is he to my cell? <laughs> Inches. And yeah, you, fucking you've had him. you've had the guard captain has passed his arm through in armor. 
Break uh. his arm. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm fully I'm fully expecting to be like I spin him around and slap chop him until he quits. <laughs> I was me... actually thinking about going ahead and punching him in the back of the neck. You know, just like full on donkey punch. Just get... <laughs> The, the infamous frontward facing donkey punch. Uh, Caress his neck. Like, I'm gonna <laughs> die in a day. Let's get weird. Look, I, <laughs> look, I just need one thing right Guard now. Guard panics, he's like, whoa! Weird flex, but I'm not I'm not with it. <laughs> I can show you the jailhouse rock. No, I think I got an idea what I'm gonna do. <laughs> He's he's holding the torch above his head. It's dark. I want to do two things at once. Okay, I sure. want to go ahead and use light, the cantrip, right in front of his eyes. Okay, all right. And whip the hook into my cell. <laughs> All right. Sure. It's dark. It's very low light here. He needs the fire to see just about anything. And as his eyes begins to focus, focusing on the ground, he's pretty much almost in that squat, that curt squat position where he's peering down at what it is. And as he begins to reach down, a bloom of light erupts in front of his face. I'm going to give him a reflex. <laughs> I'm hoping you nap once. Please, God. <laughs> I don't nap Aww. one. I roll fairly well. He staggers for a moment. Uh, hands cover up the eye at this point, and he throws his body into the wall behind him. Not really sure what to expect. Yank it. Do you pull it back? Yeah, I go ahead and whip the hook back. How hard? <laughs> Not hard enough to end up in my face. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, rolls are for. It, it's kind of a flick of the wrist whip. So uh, on a scale of one to ten, call it a three. So not not hard. Sure. Not like not like ripping my arm back, but yeah. Sure. You Not managed as to. Hard as I could. You 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 have you have basically it's wound up in your hand, right? And when mm -hmm. he pulls up and he's looking at you, he doesn't really think much of it. But when you flash this light, you do whatever the motion is, and no motion necessary. It's oh, it's just, just a noise. Word. What's the word? Yeah. Oh, we're gonna go ahead and just say it's something. In I hope it's that. Time. I literally hope it's just. I hope oh! it's. Ah. Oh! <laughs> So Furion and fucking uh, Jen's plan is exactly how that works. Yep. It's, it's, it's something in Infernal ah! or Abyssal, okay? Oh, it's, it's just... even it's even better. Ah! What the fuck? It's Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got him. No, you, you managed to whip this in. What You say something in Draconic, right? Oh. Uh... Actually, we're going to go ahead and say that all of his spell is done in Infernal. Okay. Ah! Like yeah. Infernal. I mean, if yeah. you're going to go ahead and use <laughs> like, a secret language for your spell book, it'll be Infernal. Sure. So you make a uh, guttural chort, like a whoop, and then <laughs> light appears right in front of this guy's face. He fucking panics. He panics, throws his body back, and you whip this thing inside of, inside of your cell. It manages to whip off to the corner, bounces off the wall, but it stops. Takes a moment, he adjusts himself, fixes his eyes, and then he peers back into your cell. This time, he's thrust the torch through to illuminate the cell. Yep, yeah, and I'm still going to have the uh, orb of light behind him. In fact, I'm going to try and adjust it to right behind him so that his, you know, his body casts the worst shadow. And <laughs> sure. Yeah, just try and... This guy, this guy has been on 
on watch now for a while, at least a few hours in rotation. He's been watching yourself. You're of grave importance to be watched at this point. They have you in the special shackles. They only got like three <laughs> of them in the whole town. That means you're a VIP. It's a very important Two prisoner. Two of them are in Charlie's place. <laughs> well, I mean, I am currently holding the record of consecutive murder De charges. Yeah, consecutive decapitations? <laughs> yes, that's correct. So, he peers in. He sees the shadow. I thought you couldn't cast spells. Not with my hands, but you looked like you were looking for something. Give me a bluff. <laughs> oh, yeah, because this is going to go great. Got this. Nat 20 time. Oh, That's not a nat 20. Oh, sniper wife. Okay, so he knows I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> he sees right through you. Turn it off. Make it stop. Can you say please? <laughs> he nods. And you hear a series of keys jangle at his hip. He turns wow. the key on his hip and he unlocks your cell door. Oof. He pulls his arm through and with it, he pushes open your cell door. I can. Not going to really recommend that you do what you're thinking about doing. It's not going to end well. So At you all. Think, so you think that. From the looks oh, of it, you can't do much yourself. You're okay. unarmed and you're casting spells. You're not allowed to do that. Well, what you gonna do to stop me? <laughs> he places the torch on the ground oh, and shit. draws a hammer from his side. A war hammer. about to get Gallagher. Okay, admittedly, that could be a little effective. Quite. Were you just born daft? Or you just been stupid your whole life? Oh, I'm starting to think it's congenital, but... You were under a blanket. One arm is manacled. Your ability to cast spells has been dramatically hampered. You are not wearing armor. You are not armed. I know that you are still lethal because you have character levels, but my warrior has NPC levels. Yeah. My warrior is armed and armored. You got him. Yeah. This is definitely a high ground moment, Anakin. This is a you Show can try the moment. Ground's better. You underestimate the depths of my power. Ah. Uh. Quick, cast him as lead. <laughs> he doesn't have his cup. Quick, punch him. I need to know your AC. Uh, with no armor in anything whatsoever. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. That would be what, dex plus natural? He doesn't have natural armor. Dex? Unequipped. Well, I mean, I don't have armor on. Did they take all of my trinkets? Yes, fuck yes, they did. Are you kidding me? Hell yeah! You're damn All near naked. Trinkets. That's why they gave you a blanket. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Uh, all right. So, taking all of those off because, damn it. Oh, uh, that puts my AC at not base attack bonus AC. Twenty? No, that ain't right. Your uh, AC? No, 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 no. For some odd reason, it's still showing his 20. I don't know why. Uh, let's go ahead and call it... Are you talking... Touch? What is your dexterity? Uh, dex 19. You have a 14 AC unless you have dodge. Do you have dodge? Yes. You have a 15 AC. Do you have natural armor? Uh, without my trinkets? No. You have a 15 AC. Why? don't know why it went ahead in... 
All right. Mm. He's going to say please. Or at least he's going to try. He's definitely going to say please. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that initiative from you, sir. All right, let's say mine then. It's a pretty good initiative. Get my plus one. You are definitely going before him. So it's going to be... Jacob. Then me. All right. And he's gonna, it's gonna hit you. It's gonna hit you pretty fucking hard at that. This hammer is not gonna feel good. He brings the hammer down across your face. Why is it always gotta be the face? Well, he's not gonna aim for your fingers. Which are currently all wrapped up in twine, mind you. He's a living yeah. hair. Just, you know, finagle your way around his neck and then pull. Nine points of lethal damage. I imagine that you kind of reflexively pull your face away, manage to catch you like rakes across the face, breaks down across your 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 front breast. Yeah. And oh. Do you fight back? Oh, this is not going to be wise. You don't nod your head. You're not that character. <laughs> don't let them speak. Don't even let them influence you. This is totally you here. Yeah, I'm not even looking at the cams or anything like that. Uh, it is... I got to go ahead and play it. True to Jacob. Yeah, he's going to beat the shit out of this guy. Chuck his dollar. Oh... Fuck him up. So, yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it. And just trying to think of. He still had naturally. Oh, okay. uh, oh that's going to help. Uh, yeah, so. What are you going to do? I'm trying to remember if one of my Magus abilities will affect unarmed attacks. Because he has the ability to go ahead and... What's like, the ability? A... Uh, the ability is... Oh, that's that's like that's my favorite stuff, Brock. When when you when your character does something that you don't necessarily think is is right, you're staying true to the character. That's perfect, right there, man. I love it. Like Jared and doing literally anything that's right. No, Jared's just really good at doing the wrong thing all the time. Can you not ping <laughs> this ability for me to read? Uh, no, believe it or not, Roll20 does not have any of the Magus stuff. No, you're supposed to manually put that in, so you can you can ping it here, so people can see it. Yeah. Type it in there with your fingery fingers. Uh, let's see. It's a little time-consuming, but it's, it's once you do it once, it's already done. You should just be able to click on the name, if you have it saved, and it should uh, just link it in there. It should, well, yeah. Well, no, the, the, the stuff that it, yeah, for, has for Magus isn't there. I know, but I'm you, saying... Right, like, you because... Can... Let's see here. I'm trying but if you to... manually type it into the character sheet, you can still yeah. Then then you can then you can up. do it. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about in this instance. Actually, yeah. Here, Magus Arcana Pool. The Magus can expend one point from his Arcane Pool as a standard action to charge his free hand with energy. He can make a melee touch attack with it hand as a free action as part of activating this ability. If the touch attack hits, it releases the charge and deals two d six points of energy damage, acid, gold, electricity, or fire. Chosen. Blah 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 blah. He can use this ability with the Spell Strike class feature. If he misses the attack, he can hold the charge for up to one minute before it dissipates. So, you, your, your actual attack isn't going to deal lethal, but your energy is going to deliver. You've just got to hit. Right. Well, the thing of it is... It does 1d6 for every three levels after six. Yeah, so it comes out to 46 damage. 
No, um, the thing of it is, I can use it with spell striking, meaning I can cast a spell like what true spell? strike. What spell can you cast? Currently? True strike. So that one I still have because I haven't used it. Can you cast a spell without the use of your hands? Can you cast true strike? Yeah, true strike is some you know, is a non-somatic, so it's verbal only. Okay. So yeah, I'll go ahead and cast the spell, which is going to give him an attack of opportunity. Yes, it will. I'm assuming that he's not more than five, no, five feet away. Um, do you no, have combat casting by spell. chance? Uh, yes, I do have combat okay. casting. Okay, that's good. That's good news. Da, 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 da. Oh, it rolled off of a natural twenty. Fuck. You managed to bat it. Uh, he brings it down aside, and you managed to just kind of like roll with the punch, and the hammer comes down, and it leaves a huge divot into the, the seat where you're sitting. Yeah, and this is just going to be him touch attacking with that, and he's going to go for cold. Uh, so let's see. First things first, I have to go ahead and figure out. It's just going to be straight up strength for, you know, just a hand attack. Or no, do strength. I go ahead and increase it's your base you don't... attack bonus plus your strength? Yeah, it's it's base attack bonus plus strength in this case. And because you don't have improved on arm strike, you're delivering a D3 plus your strength modifier. You have to okay. break his armor. So first things first. Uh, strength bonus is four. Does a 23 hit? 23 definitely will hit, yeah. All right. And that is going to be 1d3 plus strength. Yes, we'll be 1d3 and plus strength. And the 4d6 cold damage. Where are you hitting him? Oh, I'm not trying to kill him, but I'm definitely trying to get him now nah, i'm gonna go for center chest center mass can't go wrong there okay you in the heat of the battle he brings this hammer down across you you retort with casting a spell in which he tries to strike again from the side you manage to roll and redirect it down to your your sitting area it almost stages in the sense you succeed in true strike and when you make this Attack. I mean, the true strike alone was going to give you far more additional. You were definitely going to connect. Oh, fuck yeah, because true strike went ahead and gave me 20 on that. Damn, I should have thought of that. You managed to connect with center mass with this central strike, and you deliver cold directly through it. And as such, the moment that the character is struck by your fist, there is a gasp for air. And he stops moving. He falls oh. immediately. Did you oh. kill another person? Please tell me I didn't kill another one. Fuck! Hey, at least the door's open to yourself. With a clang, door. with a clang, the combat swiftly comes to an end. No more. He drops at your feet. The hammer turns and moves off to the side. Basically, it, it rolls from his hand away from this. Metal slides across the stone. The shield drops in front of him. He falls face down. Oh. And of course, oh, Kiana's just going to fucking love this. He's going to go ahead and check for a pulse. Hoping he just knocked him out. Please tell me he's not dead as fuck. It's hard to break past his armor. You're feeling. You can't see an area that is not protected. How you would kill him in a single strike, it's a surprise to you. Well, this man is a guard. He's a well, warrior. I'm... He's got levels. He should be able to do this, right? Like, you, you saw him. The way that he spoke, there was confidence in his demeanor. Yeah, but I'm also a baller. You can't feel a pulse no matter where you feel because you can't really get a grip on his neck. He's guarded um, up very tightly so. I'm going to go ahead and uh, lick right along here and tuck it up under his nose and see if I can feel him breathing. 
Do you roll him over? Well, I'm going to roll him onto his side, yeah. Okay. When you roll him onto your on his side and you you seem to lick at the finger to see if there's any kind of breath, so you can feel if it dries up across your finger, that sensation. Mm -hmm. You do feel something. You feel the spit on your finger begin to chill. Not only does it chill, but it creates a small film, like it's been freezer burnt. Oh, great. I just went ahead and wrecked this guy's lungs. Oh, An shit. exasperated sigh creaks from his unmoving body. And the cold flutters from his nostrils. It freezes the spit on your finger. Oh, that's not good. Okay, okay. Uh, aside from his Warhammer, I don't suppose he had a dagger or anything on him. Yeah, sure, he did. He did, in yeah, fact. Just, yeah, just something I can go ahead and use to break the manacle. Oh my god, I just realized we were just raided or hosted by Madame Gandalf. Thank you so much. Hmm. I, uh, wow, I... Sorry, I was in the heat of the moment. My players just keep making poor decisions over and over again, and I'm capitalizing on it. I love it. Poor decisions? Are you saying that we shouldn't try to kill the guard? I thought that gets us into more favor with them. You know, it's like a, it's we're showing our uh, our dominance. You should do CPR. Maybe you can turn his lungs to dust. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do here? Oh! Cover with the blanket. <laughs> There's been an audible clang of this man falling, his armor dropping to the stone, his shield not quite donned at this point, falls off to the left side, the hammer skitters across to the right side, batting into the wall. It's loud, quite audible. The other inmates begin to rise. You hear the whispers, hushed at first, before they start asking, What's that? What happened? He coming to you, sir. Did he hit you? Are you alive? What's going on? <sighs> God, someone's going to have to tell his wife and his kids. Moments pass, what feels like eternity, before finally you hear something beyond the door. And the door swings open. A woman standing in the doorframe. Blotting out any light behind her. Oh, joy. <laughs> she rushes over immediately. Miss Specialize. She sees you hovered over the corpse of a man. Oh, boy. A guard. But she just nods. God damn it, sniper. And we see you for what you are. You will be hung in the morning, regardless of any trial. And I'll see to it that it happens. You're doomed to die. Was... I'm assuming it's Kiana. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's, it's Jacob. Or Jared, I mean. Hit her with a blast. <laughs> Fucking knock her out cold. Go for it. You want to fight Kiana? <laughs> I, wa I, want I don't want to fight. Let's I don't, fucking I, go. This is going to be a real I, good fight. I really don't want to fight Kiana. better sing on that bitch. <laughs> no, I, you know, I can take her. But I'm not going to take her while I'm shackled to a door. You know, I can go ahead and take her yeah, no problem. Give me a little time to prep up, suit up. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. She says, suit up. Do it. You won't, little bitch. Do it. She gives you back all your armor and gear. Fight me. You gonna I need this. this. I live for this. This is what we like to call a handicap. <laughs> oh, she... Sloth, Sloth is right. You miss 100% of the chances you don't take. 
She takes a few <laughs> steps in. She grabs the ankle of the man. And she begins dragging him out with ease. Oh, boy. <sighs> After she pulls him out, she shuts your cell door. Do you want his hammer? What are you going to do with it? Break free? I'll be watching from this point forward. Well, just saying. If you were hoping for a trial, you won't be getting one. She speaks to another guard behind her. And the only thing that you can make out is prepare the gallows for first light. Go wrong. Everybody happy. <clears throat> yeah, and nobody's gonna go ahead and leave me unobserved. So it's not like I can necessarily use the hammer to bust my manacle. Not with that attitude. You could try. They're magic manacles, though. If you break a magical item, yeah. you know there's going to be some oh, kind of I, I hope you don't like you your break these cuffs. You can't break <laughs> these cuffs. You can try. <sighs> okay. <sighs> One more thing before we taper off for the evening. I'm not just going to oh, hit sure. you with that cliffhanger. How else can I fuck myself over tonight? <laughs> I, I am sure. We will start next session with Ronald. Ulheim will start in the limelight. But we are ending tonight with any. Oh boy. Thelsa. Yeah. Oh, Thelsa. I'm, I'm not done with you. Thank God. <laughs> oh, boy. I wasn't finished yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Thelsa. Okay. My friend. You've spent all of this time inside of the temple. You've gone to see Dugabras. Before you make it to Dougal Ross, you start getting the messages. They begin delivering unto you. At first, it sounds like a palpable whisper. Hushed tones, dulcet in the sense of lulling you to sensible safety. You recognize it's her. Weejas, she calls unto you. In dual tone, you hear, You've done well, Delsa. Thank you. I know you do not know her, but everyone shall be tested. Even if you do not understand the test, it will be presented before you. Loyalties must be clearly divined. What is dead may never rise again. What returns is unnatural. You've done a great service, and you will be ending a terrible threat against me, against the church. It may not seem clear in this moment, but you'll know what's right. You'll know it is a necessity. You cannot speak to anyone that you've taken this. Do you understand? You muted? I'm just gonna nod my head. Okay. And with it, there is a, a trailing hushed, like, shallow breath. Just, and it's gone again. The feeling of the blood roiling seems to calm. And you begin to feel in control of yourself once more. Everything seems natural. Pervasive, but natural. Dugaras, his hut, his small little shanty bit of metal that he stayed in. 
and is before you, 20, 30 feet away. These messages came to you over the span of a few minutes, the distance it took you to walk from the temple to Dugabras's location. You see the door is open. You see clutter. It's been thrown away, out. You don't know the situation, but it seems fairly tidy. Glass shatters against the stone wall of the bathhouse. Do you do or say anything? Uh, not say. Just gonna go and try and investigate what the shattering was. When you move up, it was a large glass. A drinking cup. Something that wasn't very common. Mostly the wealthy had these at this point. Other drinking cups were, if not made of wood, and they had the money for it, they were made from copper, other bits of metal. But this was a glass, an absolute drinking glass. At this size, probably more so a vase. And you see it in bits. Shattered. There's revulsion in this. Something that you haven't seen in Dugaras at all. You can hear the skulking around inside of the metal hut. The heavy footfall. You know it's him. Yeah. What do you do? I'm going to head over and just kind of like step into the doorway. Um, Dugo Bras, is everything all right? You startle him immediately. He was not expecting one, a female voice, two, yours in particular. He panics. He looks around the room, and you can see that there are cracks in the flesh under his eyes. Heat rises like steam. He's sad. He's distraught. He looks around like a confused animal. He fidgets his fingers at his side like a child would who's afraid. Go I'm, on. I'm... I'm sorry. I... I failed you. Failed me how? It... Your... Your blade was taken. Someone... Someone broke in and while I was sleeping, they stole it from me. I have, I failed you and I understand if punishment is due. I'm going to take a couple steps forward, and I'm just going to take his hand in mine. And I'm going to say, don't worry about it. I will find it. I believe that someone... Someone came in through the vent. And he points to just around his bed. There... Noise, it startled me. I rose, and the other man, the goblin man, he was distracted. A trick. Did you catch a glimpse of what this person looked like? I only saw that they they had two legs and a tail the goblin man could not see but i i do not have the same eyes i see the heat of men and women alike I 
I have an idea who it is. Didn't think I could come get it, but of all the people I know in town, there's only one I know with a tail. They were quick to remove themselves. Had I been aware, I would have struck them down. I believe it. Don't blame yourself. Things happen. I still don't think you're worthy of the punishment you're given, and I think it's even worse that now you're beating down on yourself over something so little. If it's just a request, and you offer to do it as a, as a gift. You can see the his hands have been, like, he's kind of bunched his fists up, and where normally you would see someone that would flinch their fists tightly, they begin to, like, white-knuckle. But it's legitimately white-knuckling, in the sense that his skin is going from this almost charred color to glowing warmth. And it's borderline like he's he's emitting heat from them. It's it's sadness, but there's anger that hangs about him. This is not the first time, and he expressed that. The the others might know. I did speak with them briefly. I'll go see them after I go visit who I believe it is. Um, if it's not who I think it is, then I'll see if they know. Who do you go to see? I'm pretty sure it's Jacob. I don't know how he got out of jail, but uh, of all the people I know in all of Cauldron, he's the only person I know that has a tail in his bike. Okay. That's actually where we're going to call tonight's session. We will start with Ronald. And then we will move to any. And from there, we got ourselves an old-fashioned hanging. God damn. If he makes it. Yeah, if he can fucking live that long without killing more guards. No, no, that's not the guards I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to point out that it was fucking self-defense. He's like, I shock and grasp my way out. Wait, what do you mean the floor is wet? Everyone's dead. <laughs> oh, there were people holding onto the bars? Yeah, all of them are dead. <laughs> He's looking, there's just smoke coming out of every cell on the oh, floor. Man. <laughs> all the prisoners that were trying to look out the bars, they're all dead. <laughs> it arced. It was awkward. You know, with my fucking luck, you assholes, that is exactly what happens. It rained last night. Little do they know they, you know, that the dungeon is under a slope. You had to know. Hey, why? Why didn't you get the guard's key after he passed out? Because Jacob wasn't intending to kill the guard. Yeah, so but like, I, I mean, you said self-defense, aka, what are you gonna do about it? And, yeah, but like, I mean, well, why? And he okay. was spending his time trying to yeah. check and make sure Break he wasn't house. dead. Yeah. He's not cold-hearted like that. You know, if he were intending to kill... No, him, that guy is now, though. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to criticize your decision here, but you had to know there was a chance that you could kill him. It's okay, I, I'll I was, criticize his decision. Yeah, I'm sitting here was, thinking, you know what? I should have gone ahead and just done that true strike and nutted the guy. I just, I don't... I, I think I don't, you should have tried to give him CPR. True strike just on a turned, one of his pubes. Turn his frozen <laughs> <thing> Just... <laughs> Just duck that strike, called shot it, BAM! Could have been worse. Worse. I mean, you just could have done- Just an uppercut of fucking doom. You could have done any of the other elements, too. Like, you could have just acid at his ball. Oh, that made, made it a bad. real bad time for everyone. Rather rather than feeling cold, you just see smoke coming out of his face. Actually, to be totally fair, this is probably the best case scenario in uh, this- In this- in this particular instance. Yeah. It is the best case scenario because there are no visible traces of magic on the body. If he had used acid, well, we know what would have happened there. If he'd used fire, it'd have been pretty fucking obvious. Electricity, the the skin will reflect those kind I'm of traits. Just wondering how you punched him into a freezer. <laughs> They're not gonna like that's. It's such an instantaneous event. Yeah, it's, it'll it's, be gone yeah. by the time they decide to check it. He, he died. Still... The moment yeah, that the, the damage was delivered and the cold, it, you basically just pushed a, a fucking cube of ice through his body. <laughs> well done, lad. 
But <laughs> this was an opportunity for you to to be see free. whether or not you are going to become, you know, proving proving the the fact that you are far more lethal than you intended, or that you have control. You could have honestly with with your roles, with how strong and and your current level, you could have disarmed the man, kicked him out of your cell, and shut the door. Kamehameha I'm into the next dimension. Yeah, but you gotta Take remember, this, too, this but, is yeah. Jacob. I have to play him true to oh, his character. Yo, totally. He falls back on his character. No, he no, falls man. back on the magic every you just, chance You just can. fucking it mond this guy into the into into the next world, okay? <laughs> He's no more. <laughs> Very Jacob. Yeah, it's fitting. Yeah. Fuck monks. <laughs> <laughs> he had a family, says Ryu. <laughs> Like palm I said, strike. You just, you just hear him. the other guards yeah. go, oh man, who's going to tell his wife? Frozen Buddha's his, palm. His mentally challenged Just, oh, just oh, pull a Felsa. Just pull a Felsa and kill them all. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> They fine. can't be sad if they're dead. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Given these events, I'm definitely going to have to meet up with some of my creative crew. Unfortunately, that means that I won't be able to have the support of Sniper or uh, Ronald for these plannings because it's about your characters. Yeah. Yeah. So if you are a creative crew member, if you support at the $25 level or higher on Patreon and you are in the creative crew, guess what? I need you. Because <laughs> he I can't fucking up. deal with our shit. I'm so sorry. I've made work for you. <laughs> <laughs> Crowdsource our fuck ups. Let's do this. Yeah. I, I need you. I need you because there are many machinations at foot. And I. <laughs> Your I cup didn't run it over. Uh, yes, I, at the, yes. Thank you. That is p perfect, man. Thank you. All right. Well, that's what we're gonna call tonight, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and I guess hear the floor. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and file them here. This is your opportunity to get to talk to the cast directly outside of breaks. So if there's anything that you wanted to ask at them or at me, and I'll ask them directly, and we can uh, we can discuss those things before we head off tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa. I did not fuck up a lot. I just might subscribe if Jacob gets hanged. Uh, well, I mean, this wouldn't be the first time they've died by their own hands. Uh, the perfect murder, how do I do it? Uh, don't intend to at all. Is Kiana actually one punch woman? Um, she's not. She's not one punch no. woman, but... Just for some education here, for those of you that so don't know. definitely has a boner for, uh, for Jacob. Kiana is a Patreon character. Kiana, exactly. That's that's something that a lot of people don't know. Actually, with the introduction recently, there are many Patreon characters that are inside of the game. Charlie Miles, Mr. Sasha, Kiana Green, Mir, Fables. These are all Patreon characters. If you sub at the right level on Patreon, you get to create a character that comes into the world. They have character levels. At the $25 level, it's a 5th level character. At the $100 level, it's a 10th level character. At the $200 level, you get a 20th level character. She's definitely not a baddie. She is... the most outspoken Batman. Who Who is his, uh... Fables? That's them. Elusive. Mm. And am I right in thinking that Fables is the same one that set me up? Yes. Okay, Nem, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I like Nem's character. And, and just to go ahead and put this into perspective, guys, think about it this way. Three Patreon characters have completely and utterly ruined Jacob's mm. pleasant time in jail. <laughs> I've got, Otherwise, I've, I've it's got been plans. a great stay. I've got plans for other um, game-based characters that are NPC rounded. So uh, Phelan, Phelan of Light, we've worked on a character. Um, they've created a character for Mummy's Mask, and when they get out of the tomb, that character is going to be there and become, well, maybe a monster, maybe a uh, an advisor. Who knows? But in case you're curious and how you'd like to become more involved. Kiana There's was cool Patreon. with us until Rosasi died, and then she started hating us really fast. Kiana was pretty cool with you guys till you started breaking the law, and then tried covering it up a lot. Yeah, yeah remember that Kiana was lawful good. 
She probably like, still is lawful, lawful good. good. Yeah, yeah no, I mean, she's then she made a deal with the demon, so I think she's, that's she's, she's still be lawful. Yeah, she'd still be lawful. Good. She didn't just because she abiding by the law and being a good person doesn't mean that you can't communicate or make a pact with a demon or a devil. Sure, it is morally misconstrued and people might perceive it as one way, but that doesn't mean that she did anything wrong. The demon literally said, I'm going to try to talk you into things. You can, you know, you, you don't have to do those things. But the trade-off is, I give you the ability to see through people's bullshit and lies. Oof. And she was like, is it my birthday? <laughs> well, what yes! am I using for this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah she's... you gotta remember that doing doing what is a morally gray deed with the right intention doesn't hit your alignment. Your alignment is your intended actions. Like, if Jacob was just like, oh man, I'm gonna murder me this guard, I'm gonna get me my keys, I'm gonna get the hell out of Dodge... That's straight up chaotic evil. Yeah, if so you want to work on a character, if you have a character available, if you ha are a patron at the right level and you want to make a character, approach me at the right time. Please do not hit me within the first five minutes of a session and say, all right, I want you to make a 10th this. level barbarian juggernaut named Dick Punchkovsky that comes in and ruins everyone's day. Yeah, keep in mind that you want to give him some time to... We're winnow this character mm -hmm. in because I mean exactly. think about it this way he, these characters that he's dug in we didn't know were Patreon characters Correct. until he actually told us yep I didn't know which that is why I now hate all of you character. you didn't know who yeah, Fables was yeah Fables is uh, that's Nem yeah all right if there are no more questions then we can bounce on out of here i'll give you guys like a few more seconds let's just go ahead and call back to some people that subbed and followed tonight follows from norline streams or it's norline streams uh leo ocelot prophet for anarchy subs accidental murderer for one, for one month well done well done uh zoran azire has followed madam gandalf with that girthy host i'd much appreciate that prophet for anarchy again subs freaka cop for one month. Thank you for that. Lauren Sedinier? Said 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 in there? I don't even know how you say that name. You're gonna You're gonna have to help me there. Forgive me. Robo Rob, thank you for the host. Wicked Dino for the host as well. Christy subbing on my gaming. Blue Pike for the sub. Ryu with the host. Mickey Boy on that resub. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you guys. Alright. That's going to be it tonight, guys. Thank you so much for coming out. I appreciate the hell out of it. Profit for Anarchy subs. One to free Jacob. <laughs> what a I love it. Perfect. Come back tomorrow, guys. In case you didn't know, let me, let me, let me, excuse me while I whip this thing out. It's my calendar. Calm down. I've, uh, I've got a few things going on this week or at least the rest of the week, that you guys should be seeing. It's pretty important because it means the beginning and the end of so many cool things. The rest of this week, tomorrow, open stream. I do whatever the hell it is that I want to do. Friday is a 12-hour stream where patrons and other viewers get to decide what games that I do. Among those, it seems like Twitch Sings is cycling in. We'll be doing some karaoke. I hope that's okay. If not, well, sorry about you. Saturday is the season end, the finale of Sounds of Silence. Saturday night is movie night, the Patreon movie night. And let's see if I can show you this thing right here. We will be watching... No, I'm not going to do it. That would mean I'd have to put an asset on the stream. We're going to be watching um, Glass and the Headhunter. So, if you're a patron at the $5 level or higher, what are you waiting on, man? It's awesome. We get a bunch of us together, we... Talk about movies and we watch movies. It's, it's just fun. It's fun as fuck. The 28th, that's Sunday, I'll be doing a private game for the Roll For It Legends. So, this weekend's going to be super busy. Um, is everybody going to be here next week? Ronald, are you good for next week? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I think so. I think All I'm right. good next week, not the week after. Wow. Sounds good. Wonderful. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Love your faces. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace. We're getting out of here. Bye.